Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. <clears throat> if you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. <clears throat> Keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Um, so real quick, some of you did reach out to me to tell me that the background music was a little bit too loud. So I have fixed that, hopefully in this reading, in this video, it won't be too bothersome, but I do appreciate you guys letting me know. All right, Virgo, so let's take a look and see what other drama you have going on in your love lives <laughs> for June. I know some of you are like, I don't have any drama, I have nothing going on. Okay, golden mirror, self, I knew this was gonna come out. S a self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. Oh, exciting, Virgo. We're getting a little, I don't know, a little Ted Bundy vibes going here. Sans the, the worst part of that person. Um, let's see. I don't know. Whenever I, whenever I talk about Ted Bundy, whenever I talk about narcissism, his face just shows up in my mind. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. Okay. This is, this is... Oh, this is straight up here. You've got a, you've got your narcissist chasing you, coming in with affection, coming in with that love bombing. Um, doesn't like that you've abandoned them. Okay, Virgo. Yes. Okay, coming in to blow them kisses. Look at that. I love you. I love you. I love you. I want to be with you. Watch out, Virgo. Watch out for this person. We'll see who this is. Okay. Now either, okay. So either you abandon someone who is, you know, still has you in their pocket. Okay. This could be somebody new coming in, but let's take a look here. I mean, it's going to be one of the other, one or the other or both. Okay. So let me see. No, you know what? They just said, I want to take a look at the romance angels. What's the deal? What is the deal? Someone coming in and making the effort. Yeah, you got somebody here who's going to come in and like love bomb the, the holy bejesus out of you in June. Okay? Someone very, very codependent. It's safe for you to love. You can trust me. It's okay. This person like... Can't be without you. Can't smile without you. I'm really dating myself with that song. I can't work. I can't play. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You know, I feel bad when you're sad. Who is that? I bet nobody's going to get it. <laughs> who sang that song? Give me, the, give me who sang that song. If anybody gets this, I'm going to like shoot myself. I'm letting go of my control issues. I, I have, like, I'm not that same person anymore. Yeah, uh, listen, Virgo, I want to be with you. Virgo, I can't live without you. Yeah, I know, I know I'm a narcissist, but I'm going to fix my ish. Yeah, I know, I know. I know everything was always about me. I know people have told me this. I've been so selfish. I just don't want you to leave me. I don't want to be without you. You know, and those those phrases and those words in and of themselves are not bad. But it, everything, I, I always say, like, consider the source, Virgo. You got to consider the source. Not, not the words. Consider the source. Okay. Tell me, Virgo, what the heck is going on here? Virgo, Virgo summer, Virgo June. All right. I just saw the King of Pentacles pop out real quick and it popped right back in. Okay. You might have a child with this person. This could be someone that you have a child with. This could be someone new on the job or someone that works under you. Or you you could be working in partnership and tandem with them. You know, a lot of pentacle energy here. I want to make something work here. You know, um, this three of pentacles is like an apprentice energy. Just show me what to do. What do I need to do? I don't know, Virgo. I don't know, Virgo. I don't like that. <laughs> Because it's putting the onus on you. It's putting all the responsibility on you. Still, right? I don't know why I said still. For some of you, that might be a, a scenario. Okay? Um, it's not your job, Virgo. Like, it's it's not your job. 
to fix someone that can't be fixed. They got to fix themselves. Okay, do you know what I mean? And I only say that in the context of this, what's showing up here. This person is, if Narcissus wasn't here, you know, if, if that whole love bombing thing wasn't here, I feel like, um, I feel like, okay, that's great. Somebody's coming in here and, you know, really like, uh, what do I need to do? You know, point the way, can you at least point the direction where I could be better, where I can get some help, right? That's, that's healthy because then that's like you saying, okay, well, I, here's this number or I know this place you can go to. Good luck with that, you know, and, and let me know how it goes. Um, but this person I feel like is putting all the pressure on you to fix them. And that is so codependent. That is so like, it's your fault. And if I don't heal and if I don't get better in this relationship, it's also going to be your fault. No, 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 no. Right. So it's someone definitely coming in here, um, trying to, trying to make something work. <laughs> you know, I feel like this person has been just kind of crazy that I'm seeing this. Uh, I feel like this person, like they lay in their bed. This is kind of like looking down from the ceiling and they're laying in their bed with their arms behind them, behind their head, behind their back, legs crossed, thinking of like, thinking of you, there's you and what to say um, and what to come in with. This page of wands is, that's my crush card. Like this person just has you on their mind constantly, all the time, Virgo, all the time thinking about you. What do I say? How do I commit? How do I approach? I got to approach. And the page of wands is like excitement. You know, this is like those first fluttery butterfly feelings you get when you connect with someone and this person has been pretty much just kind of sitting back I think they might be I don't know they get you on their mind like I feel like they lay in bed at night maybe this is the person that has your picture on a in a frame <laughs> all right I just heard a song got a picture in the house I'm standing by the door it's black and white no, no, da, da, no, 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 no. that was uh, how did that go heaven isn't too far away does anybody know that song that was an old metal or late 80s early 90s band um so yeah i have your picture in a frame anyway this person i mean coming up with ideas like, they are super, super excited to be reaching out to you. <laughs> I'm talking love bombing. Now, let me just, they're drawing me to this golden mirror. If I could pick it up. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship, yeah. I feel like this person, I mean, I don't know. It's so weird. I just feel like this person is like they look at themselves in the mirror and they're so they want you to be as absorbed with them as they are with themselves. They have a crush on themselves. <laughs> this is crazy, but patiently like planning their um, move towards you. June, definitely you're going to be hearing from this person. You need to consider the source with this person coming in because I feel like they. Um, yeah, they're going to be chasing after you, Virgo. Absolutely going to be chasing after you. I don't know who this is to you. Um, we don't have any court cards yet. I will tell you, it could be a Pisces, uh, Major Arcana. But let's see as we go. I'm going to put in the effort. I'm going to put in all the work. I'm going to do what it takes, whatever it takes. Show me the way. Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Show me the way. Virgo, Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Teach me, young Padawan. <laughs> teach me teach me your ways virgo show me what to do how to be what do i what do i need to do but again like it's all that responsibility yeah and virgo i hope you're gonna be like i'll tell you what to do you see that counseling center down the street go see how that works out for you if you can make that work then you can make this work how about that that's fair and if that person's like no i'm not doing that then bye bye yeah you know what i mean like get some help there's a priest there's a church on the corner Go confess all your sins because <laughs> narcissists don't confess. Oh, no, they don't apologize. They don't confess. And if they're going to apologize, it's fake. 
it's just to buy time and what have you okay so I don't care male or female energy it's just a lack of humility so Virgo I do feel like <laughs> yeah look oh they're in love they're so in love with you okay you got the king of cups there's your first court card could be a cancer scorpio pisces you did say pisces so i'm feeling like we're swimming in some water energy here virgo um can we just oh, can we at least just be friends just to kind of keep them in, keep they want to stay attached to you virgo this person it, i don't it, did you abandon somebody or do they, they just have a they have a fear of abandonment you can't be gone you just cannot be gone Okay, Virgo. Did you leave? What did you do? Virgo's like, mm -mm. y'all. Hey, Sandy Tub. Y'all. <laughs> yeah, coming in with that love, love bomb. Gir girl, guy, listen to me. This person cannot live without you. I mean, they're going to go to this great length. Now, listen, Virgo. You know, I I'm not telling you what to do, right? And I'm just going to say this, and I'm not trying to give you hope or anything, but I will tell you, from my understanding, and I could be wrong, but I'm probably not because I'm a Virgo, and you know us Virgos are never wrong. Narcissists are very, very easy to manipulate. They are very easy to control. They are, but they make you feel like you have no say, and then they get you to believe that you're powerless and they have more power. It's actually the other way around. Okay, Virgo. So, I mean, this is not a healthy thing. Okay, I want to state that. But there are some of you who are so crazy in love with your narcissist. And, or there are some of you who are unable to um, not have this person in your life for whatever reason. Okay, maybe there's kids or there's family attachments or it's something to do with work. What, if you if you don't have this person in your life, just psh, shut the door and be gone, okay? If there's no reason for you to stay connected. But if your emotions are still connected, you might want to check that. But if you have to stay connected to this person, understand that you are not powerless. These people are weak. They are insecure. They have deep fears. They have abandonment issues. Um, and they're codependent. And no matter what you do, as much as you, um, like even those of you who have no connection, and you push this person away, they come back. They, they just keep coming back. They're like a fly at a, at a potato salad picnic that's been sitting out on the table all in the hot summer sweltering heat, you know? They just keep coming back, those flies. It's like a fly. It's like you keep swatting the fly and bzzz, they're back. Okay, so yeah, this person's coming in with a love offer, a proposal of some sort. If you're going to take it, you need to like power up. If you're going to take it, you need to power up. If that's your decision, I'm not telling you what to do. You have free will. But if you're sitting here listening to this, you know what? I'm going to take that proposal. I'm going to marry this person. And I'm going to wear the pants. <laughs> if that's your decision, you're going to have to wear the pants. You can't, you can't accept a proposal from someone like this and then expect them to be different or expect them to change and expect to get all your needs met. It's not going to be a glorious, loving relationship. All this love bombing stuff right here, it's going to feel real good in the beginning, um, but it, that's going to fizzle out. And then that cycle will repeat, but you got to do different things. That's all I'm saying, okay? Um, it's, it, they're, they're very easy to... You, you basically, like, I guess what I'm saying is in order to be in a relationship with a narcissist, you're going to have to be one yourself. And if you can't do that, if you can't fake it, if you're not willing to, don't waste your time, right? There's a plenty of other fish in the sea. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, like, I know some of you um, might think about this and then later go on Google and be like, is, that tr is this true? It's true. It is true. I know it's true. Um, you just have to stand up to these people. That's all. You can't, you just can't be bullied. Whether this is someone in your work or someone that you are connected with, you pretty much have to like do to them what they do to you. You got to gray rock them, you know? Um, again, listen, caveat. I do not recommend that you do any of that, right? Hopefully you guys have, you know, a couple more marbles in your head than this person and that you'll be able to just say no nah, that's not even worth it i want like real love i want good healthy god infused spiritual connection bonding beautiful 
kind of relationship. So good for you. Let that be your let that be your ultimate goal. But don't make any mistake if you think this person isn't going to be, you know, reaching out, making that proposal, especially if you've abandoned the relationship or even if they abandoned you and abandoned the relationship and you were like, all right, bye-bye, and didn't go back. Because that's a no-no in that world. That's a no-no. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Uh-uh. <laughs> and this person is a big baby. No. Temper tantrum. Going to come in. All right, let's see. They're going to come in with this love proposal. All right, let's see, Virgo. All right, if you don't accept, and if you're like, no, if you just ignore it, what are they going to do? Because I feel like this person is plotting and scheming to come back in with this Knight of Cups. I love you. I've always loved you. They're going to sweet talk you, sweet you off, uh, romance you, sweep you off your feet. This is Princess or Prince Charming. Okay. What's, what's this person going to do? Virgo says no. Huh. They can go back in their cave and figure out another way. Yeah, Virgo, this person's not letting up. So they're going to go back into their little cave. Are they going to kind of like step back with the hermit and just kind of be like, hmm. Because the hermit and the, the hermit and the, um, I can't talk, the hanged man are very similar. You know, they're still, they're patient. They go into like, they're, pr they're in like this by themselves. So this person will go back into this little, like, they'll go within, um, try to figure out, go on like another quest to try to figure out how to approach. And then they come in with this Knight of Wands. They're going to come in with this Knight of Wands with this passion and this lust. Like, oh my gosh, you're so sexy. This is the, they'll bring you a puppy. That's for sure. This is the, it's very manipulative. Um, you are so attractive. Like, I can't stop thinking about you. You are so, like, I could die. I feel so defeated. Please, like, begging. Begging. This person can come in begging. Now, you know, I've never met a narcissist that would beg. Um, but I have met narcissists that will fake beg. Okay? So understand that it's not going to be real. It's just a tactic. And if it's something that you fell for in the past in your life, or if you are one of the Virgos, because there are some Virgos who can be a bit gullible. So there are some Virgos who can have a tendency towards, you know, which is not a bad trait, but a lot of Virgos will always believe in the best of people. They want to help people. I mean, sometimes Virgos tend to be, turn out to be martyrs, um, not by their decision, but by them not vetting the right people. Like the best, I always feel like the best thing for Virgo is to be like, you know what, the way I'm going to help you is I'm going to help you to help yourself. I'm not going to do it for you. Right? So I feel like your best tactic, even with this person, is to just sh show them which path they can go, but don't walk with them and don't um, hold their hand and don't do it for them. You want to help somebody, Virgo? Help them get to the next place, but don't do it for them. Okay, so for some of you, I'm just inclined to say this may not, this could be any person that you know. It doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be, it could be a family member, a friend. It could be your kid. Uh, it could be a parent. Whomever it is, keep in mind that this person, the minute you turn left to them, that's not going to be right. And they're going to come and try to get you back on the path. Okay? So if you tell, if Virgo tells this person, hey, go see a priest, go see a counselor. Well, this is what you're going to need to do. Uh, what will their reaction be? Huh, that doesn't surprise me. Yes, I'll make the change. Oh, Virgo, boy, oh boy. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. This this would sound so lovely if that card wasn't there, as far as this person being just the big N-word, you know? I, I just, you know, mm. Well, whatever, Virgo. You do what you got to do for yourself. I'm just telling you right now in June, I mean, this person's going to come in like, like crazy, and they're going to do the whole 
proposal thing sweep you off your feet you i really feel like you connecting with this person it, the way they do this or the how they come at you not necessarily connecting with them but how they come at you is is gonna be like what your head's gonna spin like what this is not like this is completely unexpected and you might think for a second um that they've really changed or that they've done the work because it's so shocking in the way that they are chasing after you but don't be fooled by that okay because you, you got to see evidence that they've done the work or that they're doing the work so don't be fooled by a lot of people get scammed by someone going off baseline changing their behavior because it's such a shocking thing that you think wow if you're going to go to this great length you must have really changed well no this is what hustlers do people who are hustlers addicts people who are trying to survive will do anything <laughs> they do anything to try to make something work to get what they want to get their needs met remember that and i know some of you already know that so i don't need to tell you but yeah i mean i know some of you might be like where is kelly coming from how does she know let me tell you what in my age i have been out i've been to the circus and i have seen the puppet show and trust me when i tell you okay so you got the ten of pentacles here virgo so for you okay so you got the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo. So this is good for you because you got your stability. You're stable. You're strong. You got your roots. You've got your brick. Virgo, you're a brick house. That's it. You're a brick house. Now I've just done three songs in, what, 20 minutes of making this video, <laughs> this reading. So if you can name the, all those three songs, winner, winner, chicken dinner for you. But yeah, you're, you got your brick house. And this to me is like... The big bad wolf, little pig, little pig, let me in. You know, you have probably, if you've been in a relationship with this person, if this is a past person, you may, you might have been in a straw house and then you went to a stick house and Virgo's in like a freaking vault now. You're in a brick house. And you're not opening your door. The only person you're opening your door to is Jesus. That's it. Virgo's like, Jesus can, can come in. Everybody else out. <laughs> Especially you, right? So you're good you look good you're stable okay uh let me see what this uh judgment is coming down here for you let me clarify this judgment oh yeah look at you this is so oh my gosh clarity clarity final judgment here virgo you're seeing it you're seeing something within this person or you will see something within this person in june by the way they're coming in the way they're coming in chasing after you is completely off baseline for them even if they've done it before you got to ask yourself like if you've pushed if you've like i don't know virgo if you told somebody off and you were really mean really harsh and really mean they kept coming back ask yourself why like what's going on with someone because i know virgo for you if someone was really cruel to you like a really super cruel, you wouldn't be giving them a second thought. Like super, super cruel, saying mean, nasty things. I mean, maybe that was this person at one point and you left. But if you said nasty things back to them, why are they coming back? What's going on in their life that's, that they're still reaching out to you? Things, you know, if they got another partner or somebody else in their life, if everything's so great, why are they blowing up your phone? If everything's going so great in their life on social media or whatever they're doing, why are they reaching out to you? Because hmm? things aren't going great. Right? And with those types of people, this is, oh, it's a supply issue. There we go. It's a supply issue. Um, let me see here. Now, when I say water energy, I just want to make it clear. For some of you, it doesn't have to be a water sign. Okay, that's just the first court card that showed up. It doesn't have to be a king or a queen of cups. It could be any sign. They could have water in their chart. But understand that the king of cups, the energy that they're coming in like that, is someone who comes in very supportive, have all this empathy, uh, very, very like nurturing and loving and, and tolerant and, you know, but it feels like a mask. It feels like, like there's a mask here. Okay. And I, oh, there's the Queen of Cups. Like I was just saying. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. My cards, they flip out and they're like, yeah, that's right. Look, masking, hiding, obsessed as well. All they look at is like, 
their feelings are closed off here very much. They have to lid on, keep a lid on their feelings. They don't really show them. And they're, they're pretty much like out there on the island by themselves. Um, just all about like, I don't know, they're closed off to their emotions and their love. But very, um, they need that security, okay? And they're holding on really tight because there's a ghosting scenario that's happened here. This person's like, oh, where's Virgo? Where's Virgo? Like, you know, look at all their other supply, right? Everything else that they know, but this one, you got this, you got the one thing that this person can't seem to get a hand on. And that's what they want. It, it, the unknown. There's like an unknown here, you know? It's kind of like that thing where <laughs> door number one, door number two, door number three, and you know what's behind door number one, you know what's behind door number three. But that door number two, there's a lot of intrigue and curiosity. And and I don't know, Virgo, this is how I feel like this person is coming in towards you. You know, just hooked on phonics, man. This person is like hooked on you, like obsessive. That's the four of pentacles. Obsessed. If you think that this person is gone, no, they're just kind of hiding. They're, they're just out of sight, out of mind, really. Um... Because whatever, they're distracted with something else. Whatever they got going on, that's what they're doing. They're doing that. But that's not, that. that that's like, it's all a, a ruse. Okay, it's all a ruse. <laughs> I know, Virgo's like, how can anyone be so crazy? Like, like, they're greedy for you. The desire, the fantasies, the dreaming about you. Like, it's crazy. That's obsessive. That's creepy. Like I said. That's like some creepy, creepy ass behavior. I don't know, Virgo. I mean, I think it's all right to someone to be like, oh, you were dreaming? Oh, you had a dream about me last night? So it's like to some degree. But you know, I feel like this person knows how to, um, I don't know, pull your strings. I feel like they, they know how to get you, especially if you're a woman. Um, they know that you want that. They know that you want to talk. They know that you want them to express their feelings. They know that you want them to come in soft and express their feelings for you and, and tell you they love you and do all these sweet, th these sweet things, right? They know that. They know that. And so because they know that, that's what they're going to do to get in your graces because they know what you want because you told them <laughs> or, or you, you bitched about it, that you, you were bitched about what you weren't getting. I'm speaking mostly to the ladies here, okay? And, and I feel like they're like, oh, hold on a minute. I know how to get back in. Let me just play it up a little bit. But see, the thing is, this person doesn't know that you've been here listening to me. You, you Send them to me. I'll talk to them. <sighs> this person doesn't know that you've been listening to me. This person doesn't know that I've been here supporting you, trying to tell you how you, how you ought to be dealing with someone like this. Whether you want to or not, it's up to you. But when you have this type of person coming in, like you got to like... In order to defeat your enemies, you've got to be friends with your enemy. <laughs> you have to. Okay? Because you've got to know what they're up to. You don't want to get like... I know. I'm Lao Tzu over here. But I'm trying to tell you. You know, and the readings, like, the readings generally are, you know, pretty nice. But every once in a while, this damn narc pops up. And I feel the need to tell you. You know? I mean... Be on your wits. Be on your, be on your wits. Be on your, be on your game. Um, don't fall for the okie doke peep the game that's the word peep the game um, pay attention you know that doesn't mean like I don't feel like you need to live your life like that I just feel like when there's certain people that you meet in your life that are going to be hustlers they're going to try and game you they're going to try and take advantage unfortunately the world that we live in unless you're a five year old which even in this day and age it's not always the case anymore it breaks my heart but you know in this day and age you really got to keep your eyes open with people because there's a lot of people who are struggling. They're trying to get get theirs. Um, okay. Yeah, here you go. Lovers. Yeah, this person. So listen, Virgo, I'm not giving you advice, right? I, I When I say this, what I'm about to say, if you, wanna, if you want to learn more about that, I suggest you like do a little research as far as how to deal with these people. If you're in a situation where you have to deal with them okay because you either have like some family in between you there's something with the job or someone you work with whatever the situation if you have to deal if you don't have to deal with a person like this just get out just go 
If you've already left, stay gone. Um, now, if this is somebody new coming in, which it could be, okay, then keep your eyes and ears peeled, okay? Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Don't let anybody love bomb you. Anybody loves bombs you, like right in the beginning, that's sketch. But if this is somebody that you were already in a connection with before, um, and you're, whatever the situation, and, and, or, and you have a connection to them in some way, you can actually turn this around in your favor, but you have to understand that you, you have to kind of take on the tactics of this similar person in order to be able to have the playing field even, okay? If you're going to get into the game, it's got to be fair, okay? This ain't no... This ain't no men in women's sports kind of thing. It's got to be, it's got to be fair and level. Okay. It's like a weight class. Like if you're going to deal with this person, look at these two people. They're equal. The only thing they just have different bathing suits on, <laughs> but they're equal. Okay. You got to equalize, right? And that means you're not going to win or get your needs met or get what you want in a relationship with this kind of person. Um, they aren't because they're not going to change. You have to change. They can learn to um, behaviorally change. They can learn that, you know, but there's never going to be an internal change because there's a, and, and when I'm talking like severe malignancy here, now if this person is just a self-absorbed asshole, I mean, that's easy to deal with, right? You just treat them like it's one of your kids, you know, like put them in the corner, put them in timeout, that kind of thing, you know, um, and teach them that they're, you know, discipline them. <laughs> God, I really hope that y'all are listening. Look, I said y'all again. I hope you guys are listening to this. And you're like, this is not even worth my time. Click off. I don't care. I don't care if you don't want to listen to this video. I don't care if you want to stay for the whole reading. That's fine. I'm just letting you know, and I'm giving you some tips, but I'm just letting you know that you've got somebody coming in here who's very codependent, very manipulative. For some of you, this could be your mom. I don't know who it is. It could be a sister, or you got like, I don't know, but whatever. If you are stuck with this person, you got to figure out a way to deal with it. You have to you have to figure out a way to deal with it, right? If you haven't figured it out, okay. If you're in any kind of partnership with them, and that means that you got to like level the playing field here, you got to leverage yourself to get what you need, you know. And it, it, even if that just means peace of mind, so be it. Okay. All right. Let me see what the messages of love are. <laughs> Gosh, Virgo. Every once in a while, one of these readings pops out. I mean, come on, power up, Virgo. Power up. Okay, awakening. Someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation. And that would be you. That would be you. Did I have a card? Okay, no. Past life love. There you go. This is somebody that you already know. Good. Good. You know what the good news is? Because I know you, you guys are always like, I want a new lover. You don't want this person as a new lover. This is just a past. Swinging it back around again because he can't let you go. Don't fall for it acceptance everything happens for a reason so you know what the acceptance for you virgo here is like oh this person is never gonna go away some of y'all some of you people virgos specifically are like well i don't think that's gonna happen this person hasn't been in my life for 20 years trust me they'll be back they're coming back they'll be back they always come back i had a boss i had this boss and he used to say all the time i think i was like say they're addicted to you i think i was like 22 he looked at me and he said, Kelly, they all come back. He said, they always come back because some of the people that we had worked with had left and then they all came back, from like maybe like five of them left and like four of them came back because they wanted to come back to work with, you know, where we worked. And believe it or not, it was in a video store. That's how long ago that was. But he used to say, they all come back. And he's, he was right. And he was a Gemini, right? This person, they have an, like an addiction problem. Okay, addiction to you, you know, that's codependency, dependent on you, dependent on you, making them right, making, making them feel better. There's a lack of an ability to make themselves self-soothe, so you got to control their circumstances and everybody around them. Okay, great reading. Hey, great reading. I don't know. I'm just that channel that's going to keep it real. I believe in keeping it real. Okay, warning. <laughs> don't dismiss the red flags here. 
And what's the red flag? Class, pay attention. Have you been listening? This person coming in completely off baseline. This shocking, like, what? Are you serious? Really? You want to do this? Really? You're proposing? Really? You're loving me? What happened? What's something's different? Something's fishy. I smell a rat. <laughs> I smell a rat. Never ask, uh, never ask the what about, hmm, let me rephrase this. It's not so much the content of what's being provided or shown to you. It's more about why now? That's the question. Not so much what's being presented, but why now? Do you know what I mean? That's the question I feel like you need to ask yourself here. Or you will be asking yourself. Okay, this is someone who comes in very highly logical. This person, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Virgos are very strategic. Virgos are, are very, very smart and very intelligent. And very. Uh, almost all Virgos I know, like some are like rocket scientists. They're mathematicians. They're like, they're chess players they're they're very strategic and they're very smart and virgos generally can see like <laughs> 10 steps ahead how things will likely turn out okay but i and that might be you here highly logical male if you're dealing with this person whoever they are but i really feel um so is so is this person they're also very logical for them to sit back here with this um, hanged man and plot and scheme a little bit like look just laying on the bed there at night by themselves thinking about you and thinking about how to get back in your good graces yeah a very logical plotter schemer <laughs> okay so they're, they're don't don't um don't diss yourself Virgo you can give it as much as you can take it you, you can give it yeah the past returns see that, that's twice confirmation here. So this is like this person coming in here from the past, coming back into your life, whoever they are, okay? Whatever kind of relationship this was. Yep, trying to have a new love beginning. Some of you, this is your mom, your mother. So I don't know, maybe right now you and your mom are fine. This isn't your reading. But something might occur going further into June where you're like, no, I'm not talking to you anymore. That might happen. And then this person kind of like, Rrr. remember, it's all June. So if it's not resonating right now, it could later. Something might happen later. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling like a motherly figure. It's either your mom. Um, it could be someone that is a mother. It could be an ex that's a mother. Okay. All right. You've got hope. Positive vibes person's trying to come in with bring you hope bring the good it's such a good vibration <laughs> okay that's song number four name it name it okay yeah gonna make all your wishes come true i'll buy you a new car i'll buy you that house you want Ooh, virgo maybe you got like yourself a mafia person here i don't know little um what was his name from sopranos i forget the guy's name he passed away, but he, the actor, Tony Soprano, though, I forget what his real name was, but he maybe got that energy. Let me see what the, um, Chinese signs are. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I want to put you in diamonds, diamonds and pearls. If I could, I would give you the world. All I can see. Na, 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 na. Okay, Year of the Ox, that's song number five. Year of the Dragon, Year of the Goat, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Ox again, Year of the Monkey again, Year of the Rabbit, and I smell a rat. Okay, yeah, you got a rat coming in. All right, let's see if we can get some names, y'all. Let's see if we can get some names here. If I could, I would give you the world. All I could see, and I'll send you my love. That was a great song. All right. 
just gotta shuffle a little okay yep somebody coming in with that new car somebody's getting a new car I see a new car definitely hmm. somebody's electricity is gonna be out in June maybe your electricity is already out um, little tip light some candles and put them in front of mirrors and that will reflect more light into your room okay All right, hold on, y'all. Hold your horses. Okay, I'm not getting anything from this card. That's so strange. Um, somebody's name starts with the letter M. Well, we have an M and a J. <laughs> you want to be starting something? Got to be starting something. Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one. All right, MJ. MJ is coming back to life, y'all. Okay. And, uh... Oh, shoot. Somebody lives near the... Okay, they just told me rocket launcher. Someone near, lives near a rocket launcher? Or maybe there's kids playing with rocket launchers? Like, what? <laughs> I guess toys? Um, yeah, but I'm picking up like some rocket launchers and, um, and then they just told me touchdown. <clears throat> they just said some touchdown. Oh. Okay. Yeah, somebody got a Scorpio that's like showing up here. Um, that is like is not going to release you. It's going to release everybody else. Ugh, so strange. I don't I don't get that. Okay. All right. Um some of you live I don't know if it's right now today or as you're listening to this or going forward very very windy. I'm feeling like this wind against my skin. I'm getting like goosebumps. I feel like some goosebumps. Very windy weather. And then they're also saying the name Wendy. Okay. If I could, I would give. All right. Uh, they're just telling me that movie Narnia. Okay. Uh, is that what it's called? Narnia? And, uh, someone's wearing an orange shirt. I see an orange shirt. All right, and then an hourglass. They're giving me a vision of an hourglass. Um, okay, again with this name, George. Okay, Georgia. I mean, someone lives in Georgia. All right, and also see two people uh, in line. So I don't know what you're in line for, what somebody's in line for, but I see... Um, two people in line one's in a vest one like there's a guy in a vest and then there's a woman but they're in one of those lines that has those poles that has the what do you call it like a maze kind of thing like when you're standing in line like in a maze to go into a theater or a theme park or something like that okay maybe you'll be doing that If I could, I would give you the world. All I can do is just offer you my love. Again with this hourglass. Someone's got an hourglass figure. Or somebody likes your hourglass figure. I know it's the guys in here. Ralph, Jose, Arist. Everyone loves your hourglass figures. <laughs> okay. And one more here. All right, I just see somebody knitting, okay? And um, I'm picking up the, new, the name, oh, they're just telling me Hugh, Hugh or Huey? Hugh or Huey? 
little Huey, maybe little Huey, and uh, someone's name is Azar, or Az Azar. It's it sounds like uh, Azar, A Z A R, or Ab Abar, or Asbar. Something like that. So I guess that's like Middle Eastern. I'm not sure. Or Akbar. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna do one more. They said do one more. Akbar. Okay. I see a little silhouette of a man. What are we on? Like six songs now? Finish the song for me. I see a little silhouette of a man. Okay. Um, so they're giving me this image of, um, that's where that's coming from. Uh, what do you call those? Like a dummy that people create clothes on. So fashion designers, when they're, they're making clothes, either it's like a person, it could be a real person, but it looks to me like a, like a wooden model, kind of mannequin of some sort that someone designs clothes on. Okay. So whoever that might be, could be you, could be another person. I'm also picking up the year 1999. Also someone is 49 and I'm also picking up someone who's 52. Okay. All right, end out the reading. We have double Libra, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay, so numbers we have 3809. Then we have 1111. Okay, 3128. Okay, someone is 50 years of age. Someone uh, born in 1979. Okay. They're giving me um, 3119 and 163 and 1980. All right. Last but not least. 7-Eleven. Holla, 7-Eleven. Okay, so we've got 4505 five, and 31, looks like an 8, and 6. 3186. Now you can switch them around if you need to. And also for September and August birthdays. All right, September 2nd and the 12th, August 26th, um, September 3rd and the 4th, um, September 9th, and September 20th, and also September 19th. Okay, and one more August birthday, one or two. Okay. All right. Now I'm getting August 26th. Did I say that already? Okay. 28th and the 23rd and also August 29th. Okay. Close enough to all of them. And let's get your charms. And then that'll be it for you guys. All right. What do we got here? Well, what the, what in the, okay. You guys, I'm getting some serious Christmas vibes here. Yes. All right. I'm going to show them all to you at one time here so you can see what's going on. Okay. Now, some of you are going to be getting a ring. Someone's going to be offering a ring or you're going to be, or, or telling you they want a ring, okay? Um, Christmas, around Christmas. Okay, we got a gingerbread man and a candy cane. So Christmas, 
This is a diamond. Like I said, diamonds and pearls. I keep hearing that song. Um, there's also um, a ribbon for a cause. Okay, so you guys might be involved in some kind of a cause of some sort where there's a ribbon or you're wear you'll be wearing a ribbon in relation to some kind of cause. Okay, um, but yeah, there's very significant Christmas vibes with a black diamond or some kind of, um, there's a gem here, maybe an onyx, but it looks like it's shaped like a diamond. And I'm also hearing tempest. I don't know what that means, but I'm hearing tempest. Um, so maybe you're wearing like a, some kind of ribbon or a remembrance ri ribbon or a special ribbon, you know, they do for causes or for awareness as well. Um, I mean, Christmas is so far away and you don't have to celebrate Christmas. It's just around December, the end of December, something very significant. Some of you are going to be actually getting a proposal. Now that doesn't mean it's from this person. This could be completely separate and, you know, when we get to December, we'll know what's going on. But just so you know, ahead of time, you are going to be getting, um, someone's either going to offer a ring, you know, like some kind of a diamond ring. Um, that could be you offering it or it could be someone else offering it to you. Um, and for others, there is this energy of like, let's go pick out rings or like... There, it's a gift as well, but it's it represents something. It doesn't have to be marriage. It could represent like promise or just like a beautiful gift. And I'm just feeling like around around Christmas time for that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, geez. Even like when I turn this upside down, I don't know. Okay. A couple of, like okay. There's just so much Christmas vibe. It's not even funny. For me, like for a quick second, I saw like a reindeer. I know. Like, what are you talking about? And then you also have like the Christianity symbol here, right? It's the fish, Christianity, Pisces. We're in the, um, the age of Pisces, which represents Jesus. Jesus was a Pisces. <laughs> I know some people are like, Jesus was a Capricorn, but I believe he was a Pisces because no man could have that kind of feeling for humanity. <laughs> but anyway the upright but yeah there's definitely some energy here some i'm picking up some strong december christmas vibes okay um for something pretty impactful to occur in your life all right that, that's it i'm done nothing else to say i cut off the portal we're out um so you guys if you want to get a personal reading as usual there's a link in the description box below you can book your reading with me um i'm even going to open up an hour slot for those of you that just really want to get stuff out there and have a long in-depth reading um once a week i'll be opening that up so go ahead and book that if you need that and um you can also book with brandy don't forget her prices are just half price than what i charge and she's just as good well no one's just as good as me i mean i'm the best but hey what are you gonna do i trained her so she better be at least a quarter as good as me um so yeah that's it <laughs> And uh, if you want to join the channel, don't forget, you can become a member, pop in on Sundays and get a reading with me, a mini personal reading if you can't afford to um, fork out, you know, the whole amount for uh, a long in-depth personal reading with me. You can just join the channel, $9.99 a month, and uh, that's like 33 cents a day, okay? All right, you guys, so have a great night, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Bye.